Hey guys, we got three of the steers separated out. We got the vet coming here a few minutes, hopefully, and we got to cut three of them. These three come from our herd of cattle, and uh, they, they're they a little too big. I don't want to band them. We had some problems with banding last year, and uh, if you don't know what banding is, that's basically where you, it's a rubber band that you put over their balls, and it you tighten it down and it cuts off the circulation and then they'll eventually just drop. We're cutting, you go in, you cut the bag open, you get them out, which it cutting looks like it hurts a lot worse, but I've done some research and it actually, from what I've gathered, it seems like it's easier on the animals and they have a faster recovery time. So we're gonna, I think I hear them pulling in now. So we'll set you up on the uh, tripod and. I'll show you how we do it. Now before we do this, we gotta check the chute to make sure it works. If you ever work cattle, you always gotta check the chute because you don't want them running through. Basically, you just put your head down and... Ow. <laughs> <laughs> ain't putting that in there. That fucking hurts. <laughs> See, that's what you don't want to happen. Yeah, that, that's what you don't want to happen. <laughs> here. He's not cooperating very well. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, get in here. Come on, let's go. Come on, big guy. And there, it works. And... Now, I'll go get the bowl. Yeah, let me out. You need to tail him? Yep, somebody needs to tail him. Closer you get to the base of the tail, the better. Actually, come this way and just go straight up with it. Grab it right here and just go straight up with it. Right, right, here. right there and go straight up. That's perfect. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Nobody's looking to increase their numbers. Yeah. Get a shot. Yep, I got it right away. That's where the one with the white face come from. Okay. The last one we just did. He didn't do a very good job last year, but it looks like he did a better job this year. Of getting the cow's bread, you mean? Yeah. yeah. He was pretty young, though, so. We're good. be able to get that other gate closed. Yeah. It don't have to be perfectly straight since you're not. Just watch those levers. Okay guys, disregard a lot of what I told you from the beginning of this video. When the vet got here, he told, looked at him and he said that they were a little big and he felt more comfortable with just putting a band on them. So we ended up not cutting them and putting a band on them, which the vet, the vet knows a lot more than I do, so I just do what he suggested. And he, he's only at it for 10 minutes probably. They went through the shoot pretty good. And, had a pretty good system set up. Every time we do this, we get a little bit quicker and more efficient doing it. That head gate we bought, 
was one of the best purchases we've made around here. It, it does everything we need it to. It's the Cattleman Series 6. That's what it is. Built, built by Tartar USA. Pulling this wagon out, we got a little bit of corn left from when we cleaned out the grain dryer. We're gonna fill that feed bin up in the barn for the heifers and the bull. Uh, DJ's getting the grinder out and starting to put pellets in. I'm, there's not much in here. We'll have to switch over and start pulling out of the grain bin. But guys, if you're looking for a work UTV, I suggest one of these Kubotas. There's not a, another one out there that can do what these can. Guys, fairly comfortable pulling this wagon of corn out of the barn. It's not near full, but we pushed a lot heavier stuff up that steep bank into the barn. And it, I pulled a grain head down the road with it. They're just, they're slow and they ride rough, but they'll outwork any other UTV on the market. Putting the supplement in first and then we'll just fill up the rest of the way full of corn. Got 20 bags, which is a thousand pounds.
the ground's firm enough, so we're gonna take the corn head down to the neighbors and back it in. We're supposed to get a bunch of rain this weekend, so we wanna get it done while we can. Now guys, we got everything done for today. Feed ground, we got ready to pick up some fodder bales tomorrow. We got a different piece of equipment. We didn't buy it. It's not ours, but we're gonna use it. I think some of you will like for picking up fodder bales. But yesterday, I spent some time in the shop. I didn't get, really get a lot done, but I just worked on some odd and thins. Got the hood off 46 to work on some more cleaning. Dash is apart so I can, uh, it was full of dirt, blew it out. And I'm looking for the, um, what's it called? Uh, pre pressure valve. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. For the steering, the steering's real stiff. I'm looking for that. See if I can get the steering to work. Cause I think we might use it a little bit next year. It depends on what we find for a loader and everything, but get a door on it then i'll take it out put the muffler on it take it out and wash underneath the hood clean everything off and then we'll figure out get some gum cutter and see if we can't get up the green back up a little bit and then i got so put a gasket in the 656 so it don't leak hydraulic oil anymore i checked this out and tightened everything up so hopefully that quits leaking i got my tie rod pulled out and of course, I had to heat it and I stretched, scratched it up a little bit with the pipe wrench. So I repainted the tie rod. Got to call deer and get a new one coming for this. Fuel leak was just fitting up in the nose. Need to tighten up a little bit. So we're about done with 4430. I want to clean all the trash out of the cab and vacuum it. And then I got to get that AC switch too. I guess I'm out of that but I think that's been working on that little shop projects. We got this thing in here, an old wheel horse. It's got an electrical issue that we're messing around with. So that'll be all for this video. Thanks for watching. Remember guys, if you like what you see here on the Ohio Farm Life channel, be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel and like the videos and tell some other people about it. Help spread the word about the channel. It's, I have a lot of fun doing it and I hope some of you enjoy watching it.